Hello everyone, something a little bit different today and that is to quickly show you a few tricks when it comes to compressing, merging, trimming videos and also removing audio. So everything that I'm going to show you is using two pieces of software and they are both completely free. free. Put your money away. The two pieces of software that we will be using are Handbrake and QuickTime. QuickTime should come installed on your Mac if you are a Mac user. If you're not, then I apologize. There will be a different video for all Windows users. So Macs should have QuickTime and then Handbrake is available on both. So I'll link Handbrake in the description below so you can download that on either Windows or Mac. To be honest, this video should be useful to anyone, but especially sports analysts that may need to quickly trim, merge, or compress video files. There are plenty of expensive and paid for software out there, but sometimes some of the features and the really useful ones can be found where you least expect it. So I'm going to get straight into it by sharing my screen um, and walking you through the steps. Before I do that, please make sure you like the video and subscribe. It really helps to support the channel. Okay, so as you can see, I am on my MacBook at the moment. And as mentioned, we're going to focus on QuickTime Player here and also Handbrake. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you a few things on QuickTime. And the first one will be how to merge videos. So you can see I've got two videos here, two of my old YouTube videos, actually. So if I open the first one up, uh, this is getting started in data analytics. And then we've got another one here, we are hiring. So you can see these are two separate videos and I've opened one of them here. Now, if I wanted to merge two videos, I can do that really, really easily on QuickTime. So all I'm gonna do is drag the second one over the top of this one. You can see it's going afterwards. So this has gone, you've got the first video here, the um, getting started in, in data analytics, and then the we are hiring here. So if I'm happy with that, I can change the order actually if I want to. So, you know, it's up to you which order you put them in. Um, but once I've got them in the order I'm happy with, I just click done. You can see now it's got the 30 minute video first, which is this one. And then again, it flicks into the next one. So we've got two videos in one there, 22 minutes. So all we would do now is to save that. So if I just go there, export as we'll just put merged. It's going to our desktop and then we're going to hit save. So you'll have to wait a little bit for that. It shouldn't take too long, probably a few minutes. If that, I don't actually know, less than a minute, you can see. So it's going quite quick. So that's a really, really easy way. If you are a Mac user and you have quick time, how to actually merge. And you can do that for as many videos as you want. So obviously that example was two, um, but you can, there's no reason why you can't just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all after each other and merge that particular video into one. So that's the first step in terms of merging the video. You can see that's come out as a .mov. Now what we can also do in quick time, so if I open this first initial video again, and then we go edit, and then trim you can see we get the bar at the bottom we can trim a little bit off the start you can see i've knocked 38 seconds off that if i've made a mistake at the start maybe i want to trim some off the end so you can see there hit trim that now gives us this eight minutes 22 video which is shorter than the original so then the same again i can just call this trimmed hit save and it's probably going to be quicker than the last time um, but it will just quickly export it'll give us that separate version which is a shorter video than the first one and that's trimmed so you can see we've got merged and trimmed here nice and easy now that is the two really quick things to, to kind of know from QuickTime. a lot of people don't actually know them they save you a lot of time now what you should also have on your mac or your windows or whatever actually because it's available on both also is handbrake so if i just quickly open handbrake just here so i'll just close that first off now this is a great free tool allows you to basically compress videos. You can remove audio this way as well. You can actually remove audio from, you know, using QuickTime as well. Uh, but I'll let you work that out for yourself. So you can see Handbrake is open. We're going to open a source. So these videos here, these original videos are M4Vs. I think that's just what's come out of Final Cut Pro, to be honest with you. But if I open source here, and then I'm going to select this one. So getting started in data analytics, hit open. So it brings the video up. Now we've got a few separate things here which we can kind of play around with to get the optimized file size and quality. So if you did want to remove the audio, you just go to audio here and then just change that to none. That will mute the whole thing and take the sound off. Now, there is a lot of different things you can play around with. All I would do here is go to video and you can see it's normally set 22 here. If I move this to the left, it's going to basically give me a compressed version. You don't have to go much at all. So I've just moved that to 23. I will just, let's have a look how big this file is. So this is just 2.08 gig. So if I do that and then you can see it's gonna spit this out as an MP4 file. So I can set up multiple videos in the same queue. So if I just wanted to kind of have 10 videos to compress, 
instead of adding them one after each other, I can just add all 10 and then hit start and it will just go through the whole queue. But in this case, I am just going to do one. So all I've done literally is move that from 22 to 23. What I'll sometimes do is tick web optimized here if I'm putting the videos online as well. But if I just hit start on that, we get a progress bar at the bottom here. So you can see, I'm not sure how long is this video actually. So let's just take a look. So it was 2.8 gig and where's the time? So it's nine minutes and 11 seconds. So you can see it's gonna take around that time to compress. That does depend on the original file size. It also depends on the power of your computer as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let this go. Um, I will just cut the video in a second. We'll get to the point where it's nearly done and then we'll check the size and how the size compares and obviously how the quality compares as well. So we'll leave this running for sort of eight minutes or so and we'll get back to the video then. A few moments later. Okay, everyone, we are now back with around 20 seconds left. You can actually see on the desktop that the file is here anyway. Um, you know, it goes there as it's being produced. So we're almost done now. So again, just to reiterate, all I did was change the number on this one. In fact, I ticked the web optimized box and I changed the number from 23 to 22, I believe. Um, sorry, 22 to 23. So we moved it left. So this should give us a smaller file. So the original file is here. Um, so I'll just kind of mute that sec. So that's done now. So yeah, it's done. So the original file is here. You can see the quality of this file. Let me just mute it so it doesn't go too loud. So this is the original file at 2.08 gig. And then the new file we have is here. If you're looking to... Which, I mean, I can't tell the difference in quality, to be perfectly honest with you, but there may be some slight drop. So I don't even know how big this is going to be. So let's have a look. And that is 134 megabytes. So it's tiny in comparison, really. So um, great way of compressing. Again, that is free. I will leave a link in the description below to both this, which is Handbrake, and obviously QuickTime is available on your Mac anyway, if you have a Mac. So thanks again for watching this video. Um, as I say, two really great tools, that, in my opinion, you know, useful on, on if, you, if you're any analyst really, or you're working with video, just to have on there free, quickly compress and merge videos. Okay, so if you did find this video helpful, please do subscribe to the channel and leave a like below. Depending on how this one goes, I may add similar videos to the channel like this one. So there'll be little tips and tricks that you can use in your coaching slash analyst career when dealing with videos. Thanks again for watching. Please make sure you check out my other videos linked in the description below and have a great day.